Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little ridiculous project that I want to share with you so uh, behind me <laughs> we have a Lenovo Tiny PC there with an external H oh it's, that's actually a rate controller and um, the rate controller is up here it's doing its thing it's energizing and it's probably energizing because I connected it to all of these drives so that could take a while I have no idea how long that's gonna take but it's it's a considerable amount of storage down here let's see this one has uh, 770 so there must be like 230 terabytes in that one so yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see the reflection of the Sun in the screen if Windows 7 will see this <laughs> because I didn't bother to upgrade this so I run into a little issue it refuses to use the keyboard and mouse so I'm trying with some um, some external stuff with no success so we're trying to reboot the cut down here looks very nicely uh, looks very nice um, it came out of, it's a Hewlett Packard server and so is this platform so um, yeah never had anything against the Hewlett Packard Enterprise platform it's it's very stable to um, to fit all kind of systems upon so yeah okay we uh, turn it off so let's try and turn it on see if we have more luck the rate controller pops right up now well, you're ever so slightly handicapped when nothing works Hmm, I think the only thing to blame could be this car, so uh, I guess we'll have to try and shut it down and try without the car, see what happens. So as long as it's in DAS, uh, both keyboards work. Hmm, I tried with another one, this is a Dell one, uh, I did also unplug the extension card down here that one and maybe that was it but I don't know yet so I'll try and start this normally see if it behaves oh so this one works this one does not at the moment weird okay so without the the card plugged in this works just fine so yeah. uh, except what is it complaining about oh my software might be fake okay yeah my windows 7 is not a genuine i guess i never activated it hmm. but it's no fun just starting it up without anything so let's uh try again oh it even has updates marvelous okay the card is connected and powered and the mouse is responsive and something is popping up so let's try that again and my software is still not good yeah this is a Danish version of Windows 7 so everything is in Danish so let's see if we see any uh, storage controllers smart array controller media driver okay it sees that one it probably doesn't see any drives because you oh it actually does <laughs> so uh, yeah it, it sees quite a few discs here okay interesting I forget where they put disk administration mm. we see the processor that we have in here it's an Intel Pentium G 3240T 
I believe that is the normal processor to have in this unit and I believe that it's slow as heck if I'm not much mistaken and disk management uh, disk manager which in Danish is called uh, disk chain. yeah and there is a lot of disks here that needs initialization uh, disk one to many so, oh, we have like 39 disks that would like to be <laughs> initialized so there's nothing on these disks so I think we should do it just select GPT there and okay and then we have initialized a whole bunch of drives our boot drive is on disk 0 there and then we have oh it's still working on it we have quite a few other drives here Okay, so there were some drives that was already initialized. There's a 10 terabyte here and a 12 terabyte there. So that was why I was missing some. And there's a whole bunch of three terabytes. So let's see, it ends on number 39. That's, that's fewer than expected, I must admit. So something is wrong. So right beneath this uh, wonderful Hewlett Packard uh, Enterprise platform, we have the 2 times 24 drives that uh, should turn up and say 48 drives. And we are only seeing 39 plus a few. So I'll have to, um, to go check that again. I should probably try and do some better counting. So um, counting again. I'm only getting it, uh, the last drive is number, or disk 39, and there's the boot drive which is number 0, so a, a total of 40. So I think maybe we should have it look again. Maybe it needs to, to retry. Do we get anywhere where we, oh, update. And it will have a look again. And it did that way too quickly to be any help. Yeah, I'll mess with this a little bit. So I ran this part, and it gives it kind of gives us a nicer overview of what we have in here. We have a lot of three terabytes. The whole second shelf is full of three terabytes. So let's see how many that is. So there is 24 drives there, but I'm missing some drives up here. I uh, wonder why that is. Okay, so I tried to turn everything off. All of these 48 drives are off. The computer is off and the rate card is off. I tried to install the Hewlett Packard Enterprise SSA on the tiny machine here, but it, um, it didn't like Windows 7, so that didn't fly. Well, that's too bad. I'm gonna try and turn everything on again and see if that did any difference whatsoever. So all the drives are getting online and so are the rate controller and the computer. Up here it's initializing. So after turning everything back on again uh, we accomplished absolutely nothing. There are still only 39 drives here and the same 39 drives as before so I'm, I'm kind of missing eight oh nine drives so that is a mystery but I think I need to improve on the setup here I think some I think I need something newer on here that Windows 7 which it came with Windows 7 and I do believe that the registration key is on the back of it so I could just pop that in. I do not believe that has anything to do with it. I think just that Windows 7 is too old for the software, the storage software that you use with. Well, very nice rate controllers like the P441 that is on here, which is most definitely not a cheap rate controller. It's a good quality stuff. Uh, 12 gigabit. The rate controller is very cool. 
and it should be able to do 64 logical drives so it should most definitely be able to handle a lot more drives than the, what I'm presenting it it's actually compatible with this box down here the D6000 storage box as well so yeah it should do I think my problem is the tiny Lenovo here operating system is too old to play around with so I didn't get everything that I was hoping for um, I would have liked it to see all the drives and it did not and I would also have liked it to be able to see or use the Hewlett Packard Enterprise SSA software to administer the drives through the rate control uh, the rate controller is actually one of the rate controllers where you can use it as an HBA or a rate controller, so it can do both. So it, therefore, it's not a bad rate control at all. But yeah, uh, I think I'll call this a success, even though I'm missing like eight, nine drives. It's not every day that you see a Lenovo Tiny PC. This is an M93P with 158 terabytes of storage. They are kind of rare. <laughs> so yeah, not a total failure. We were able to see the rate card in here, which was a positive. I did run into that I, after rebooting it, it wouldn't see the keyboard and the mouse again. And then I turned off the PC and I turned it on again, and then everything was good. Weird issue. So um, yeah, when you're watching this, I'm actually on vacation in Portugal. I am bringing my mom and my mom's husband to see the house that I purchased down there. Yeah, what did Morten get himself into? But, so the next videos will be from Portugal. Me playing around with some projects down there, so you have that to look forward to. Until then, I would very much encourage you, if you need some hardware, um, I know this place in the UK, uh, Bargain Hardware, bargainhardware.co.uk where you get 5% off of your purchase if you enter the coupon code, discount code, whatever code, my playhouse, small letters. Be advised that um, it only works once, once per account. So uh, you better make a large purchase or borrow your mom's account. <laughs> I don't care. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.